Has your organization gone through a digital transformation and at the end of it felt like it failed and didn't have any tangible result? Have you been spending a lot of money on CRM or cloud software licenses and don't have any way of tracking a tangible outcome from those investments? Is your organization questioning itself, asking where did all that money go? What is the benefit of this digital transformation program that we've been going through for the last few years? You're not alone. A lot of organizations are struggling to answer these questions because it's not easy. My name is Robin Leonard. I'm the CEO and co-founder of AF Digital. We're a Salesforce partner that specializes in customer experience, and we're really focused around how clients can deliver tangible value as a result of those CX investments. A lot of our methodology revolves around customer lifetime value modeling and understanding what your ROI levers are, whether it's to reduce churn, reduce data breach potential liability, reduce your customer acquisition, cost or increase your recency, frequency and monetary value, all of the factors that contribute to that customer lifetime value. Also, how do we think about the anatomy of a customer experience initiative, including the license costs, the internal costs and the partner costs in order to make that program a success? There is a big gap of understanding and knowledge at the board level in organizations. Many boards are not aware of these modern metrics that organizations can use to measure the impact of their CX investments. AF Digital have come up with a unique solution to help our clients understand what is the ROI of those projects, how to measure them, how to justify them, how to build a business case for them. And we are bringing that to boards because we recognize that boards generally don't have the literacy of these modern metrics. Things have changed dramatically. Customer lifetime value is a modern way of thinking about your customer experience experience initiatives. It's relatively new in that when you were at university, it wasn't taught. It wasn't a thing. Now it is being taught in the top universities around the world. It's also getting a foothold in corporate valuations. There is a trend where organizations will start to be valued based on their customer assets, their customer data. They also need to consider the liability of that first party database. AF Digital has come up with a very very unique framework and methodology for how to identify what are your levers to move ROI in your organization, how do you measure it with these modern tools, and how do you ensure that the business is competitive with other customer experience first products that may be coming to market. Many organizations feel it's intuitively the right thing to do to build a first party database, to invest in cloud CRM, to invest in marketing automation, to build customer journeys, we know that we need to do it, but why? Where do we get the result? Who is tracking the result? Who's responsible for the result? Especially when the result is the customer experience. Oftentimes you will do a journey and it is great and it makes the customer feel good and it makes the internal teams feel great, but does it deliver anything? Why are we doing it? What's the tangible result that we expect? And how are we measuring it? How do we track it? This is a common problem that most organizations face where they don't have any way to track their ROI from their cloud investments. As a consulting business, we've been faced with this challenge for years and we have come up with a specific solution that addresses this major challenge that many organizations face. Our solution helps clients understand the total cost of ownership of investing in a customer experience program. This includes measuring not only your costs, but also your hypothesized benefits. What are our estimates before we start? And what are our actuals after we are done? That's really the million dollar question. If I ask most companies, where do you track this? Where do you track your licenses? Where do you track your initiatives on those licenses? Where do you track the forecasts of the benefits? Where do you track the forecast of the costs? And where do you track the actuals to give you the ROI? We need somewhere to track it. AF Digital have a solution where we help our clients actually track this. Boards can't make investments into things that are intuitive. And so it's really important that board members are fluent in these concepts that allow us to justify customer experience initiatives. Because without 
customer experience, you don't have a business. The game is customer experience. The competition is customer experience. If you're a large organization that's been around for a long time, you are going to face stiff competition from small agile competitors, which have a point of difference over you, which is their customer experience. So it's really important that organizations get this right and don't rest on their laurels just because they've been around for so long. You've got to be very decisive and very clear on what you're going to do and how it's going to deliver a return. Otherwise, don't do it. It's very important that the board is driving the customer experience direction of the business, as well as setting the right level of investment and governance to ensure compliance Everything is moving so quickly and sometimes the person operating your technology is a 23 year old grad who doesn't know about some of the laws and the legality behind customer data. So it's really important that this is driven from the board down, that these initiatives have visibility, that they have a sponsor at the board and that the board is literate in what they're doing and why they're doing it. If there's no business case, then there's no project. And if you do a project without a business case, that's a risk. So you really need to understand how can I justify these programs? What will I use to measure it? How will I measure it? Who's accountable? Who's going to own it? All of these questions I will be answering. I really encourage all company directors in Australia to pay attention because this is really important information that you need to be aware of.